Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're going to talk a little bit about this knife right here. And I am going to take the scales off of this knife, which are what they call gryery, they're plastic. And I'm gonna, I got a set of these Berkshire scales that are kind of patinaed looking, and I'm gonna put those on there. And they're from Berkshire Forge, which I got these at Knife Center. I got the knife at um, White Mountain Knives. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, they have this listed as a D2 blade, and it's not. It's uh, AUS 10, which whatever. Um, I was kind of looking forward to D2 because I think D2 would hold the edge better, but um, this seems to hold the edge okay. And it's kind of patinaed up already a little bit, which is kind of odd. AUS 10 is a little bit more stainless than that, but. Or they mismarked it and it's actually D2. I don't know for sure which. But we're going to take it apart, clean it up, throw those scales on it, and see what happens. So, all right, with no further ado. Oh, and I got the scale here because I want to weigh it first. And I want to see um, what the weight difference is. So I can tell you guys what the weight difference is from these scales to the titanium scales. So let's throw this on here. And this is not gonna be my final, final review of this knife, but I'll give you a little bit of review as I go here. I gotta turn this on. Wait a second, there we go. And it is 3.6 ounces. So it's gonna probably be a close to a four ounce knife with the titanium scales on it. So, and we'll take that off for now. And first I want to talk about the knife a little bit. Um, like I said, it's a US 10, a blade, a clip point, what they call a clip point. Uh, not much of a trail to it. Um, it's got a really decent stone washing on it. It has a pretty decent edge on it, although it's not ground really centered and it's not real thin behind the edge. Um, it's not bad though, it cuts pretty good. It's a good utility tool. The action on it is really good. I have not oiled it or anything. It's just been this way since I got out of the box. So, and the centering on it is fairly good, pretty good I would say. Um, the scales, the texture on the scales, I just don't like the scales. They kind of remind me of those Spyderco cheap scales that they put on their knives, on the Japanese knives like the Delica and stuff, which I don't super like either. Um, but they're okay. Ergonomically, this knife is actually fairly good, um, except for these scales. <laughs> uh, they just, I don't know, the texture on them just isn't great. And they're a little bit sharp on the edges, and on the inside edges when you get up here. So I'm hoping that I don't have that problem with these. Uh, if I do, I can take a file to those good, easily enough. Um, like I said, the action's good. The blade is an okay slicer. It's not the best in the world. It's not the worst in the world. You can choke up on it and get a decent grip. The jimping on it's really nice, and it extends a long ways. And you can actually use this as a thumb ramp and actually hold the lock in place. Kind of like uh, the Demco Scorpion lock. This is called the Shark Lock. And it was created by Demco and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Benchmade axis lock or crossbar lock or whatever you want to call it because it's something you know it's got a spring and you pull it back and it disengages and when you let it go forward it's got a bar and then it goes forward and stops the blade and pinches it against the um, stop pin and there's actually lots of gap in there for it to wear in which is nice so um, it's a great lock I think um, it seems to be really strong. I've done a lot of cutting with it. I've packed it to work the last four days and done a lot of use with it. So, or three days, something like that, whatever it's been since I got it. Um, I've been carrying it every day since I got it. So, and it's pretty decent, pretty nice. It's nice and thin. I like that. It pockets really well. It's not a super deep carry. I'm going to have to find a deep carry pocket clip for it somewhere. I'm sure someone makes one. It's probably a real goofy looking thing. Um, it's got a lanyard hole for you lanyard guys. Um, boo, I wish it didn't, but that's okay. There's no tube in there, 
which is whatever it is what it is so um it will kind of have a tube when i put it on this knife because this has a solid backspacer titanium in there also um but with these scales it's okay it's okay kind of reminds me a little bit of the old bench made griptilian with the plastic candle scales with the hole in the blade i don't remember which model it is oops unsolicited dick pic <laughs> uh i was wondering i don't know i've been waiting for someone to make a comment about that but no one seems to ever notice it but it's been sitting in there every video and that and these bearings that i can't figure out yet where they came from someday i'll figure out where they came from or i'll put them in something else or whatever who knows um but anyway back to this knife uh, it's fairly good and for a knife that has these notches and stuff in it um they're in a pretty good spot they seem to be like right where they need to be at least for my hands they may not be for your hands um this knife is not super small but it's not super large either um, when i do the actual review review we'll give it size comparisons and everything else so let's get it apart get it cleaned up and put the new scales on it uh I'm going to start by taking the show side off and seeing if I can take it apart without blowing up that spring. Um, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that to start with and go from there. So uh, let's start with the body screws. Oops. Let's get the right size. They look like they're number six, and we may, may need two of them, one on either side. I don't know yet. I do not know. Well, that's not working. There we go. So hard to tell these little tiny sizes sometimes. All right, here we go. Wow, that was really loose. It's got a uh, blue Loctite on it, so. So far, the first two are the same size. That's good. Lots of screws and fasteners and things on this knife. Um, for just overall looks, like if you're looking for a real sleek, clean design, this is not it. So far, we have three screws, all the same size. All right, let's take this screw out. Take out the pivot screw. Oopsie. Captured pivot, very nice. Has blue Loctite on it as well. if I could just take this thing apart and put the scales on it. Nope, can't do it because I still got to pull the pivot screw. Hmm. I'm just a little worried about this whole spring thing here. I've heard that it likes to yeet itself, but whatever. As long as I don't lose it, I'm not too worried about it. There it is. Uh, And I just yeeted it across the room. <laughs> Yeet. There we go. We can take that out. Um, I can go and 
try to find that spring. I think I see it right now. Uh, it's about eight feet away. It looks like an extra strong spring out of the pen. So I wonder if a pen spring would work in a pinch. All right, let's see if I can get this side loose. I guess I'm gonna have to take the pocket clip off. I gotta change the bit again. Sorry guys. Let's get it centered in the screen. Ah, gee whiz. <laughs> Don't ever get old. Getting old is for no fun. It's just no fun. somebody shooting. I think there's a gun club not too far from where I live now. I don't live in the same place I used to, guys. I've had some life changes. Not the best kind either. But it's okay. I am working my way through it. Let's leave those clips in this, those screws in the clip where they go. So I know that they have to go back in that same exact place. Put those right there. Um, let's take this guy off. Oopsie. Bullfrog. It's got some long-winded screws. It's got some good screws. I'm really impressed with the fasteners. I've had issues. with fasteners from knives from uh, Taiwan before, which is where this knife is made. Uh, I think it's made in the old cold steel factory or one of the cold steel factories. Maybe that factory still makes cold steels. I don't know. So let's get rid of those and let's open up these and take a look at them. I do not remember what they called this finish on there, but it's kind of a, an antique looking, kind of rusty looking. It's got a little blue. All depends on how you hold it in the light. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, in my opinion. And it's titanium, so I can change it whenever I want anyway. Here's the other side. So it's kind of a patinaed looking thing. And then here's the back spacer, which also has a patina to it. Get it out of the package. Everything seems straightforward on these so far. There's the back spacer. Of course, they gotta try to shoot their weapons or whatever they're shooting over there. While I'm trying to make a video, and I keep talking low, and I'm sorry, I gotta keep my voice going. And I don't know if that's a sticker or not, but I think it is. That's where they're from. That's their website. Uh, I bought them on, uh, from Knife Center. I think it was 130 bucks shipped with taxes. So if your state doesn't have taxes, they'll be a little bit cheaper. But uh, I live in one of them states that has to feel like it needs to tax everything, so. Everything gets taxed. <laughs> Everything gets taxed, except for your income.
they they brag all the time about how we don't have income taxes, but boy, they sure like to tax everything else. We pay some of the highest gas taxes in the whole stinking country. But that is what it is. We're gonna need these. Put inside, let's see, that's that one. So we'll put that one in there. Like that. This one in here, like that. Here, like that. All right, set that aside. Now we need to put the scale down and get all this stuff in this scale, like so. Um, should we try to put the whole thing together? Hmm. I am thinking. I don't know. Let's. Let's do that. It's got a nice D-shaped pivot to it. Put some KPO on those. Ooh, that's plenty. <laughs> Let's uh, try to put it back together in the reverse order that we took it apart and see how that goes. So, let's see here. in there. My eyeball is going crazy right now. Freaking out. That goes in there. One thing I got to say, even though it's similar to an access lock, it seems like it is a lot easier to take apart and put together in an access lock, I would say. set of bearings. Let's put them on there like, let's put a little bit of oil on there. Oopsie. Uh, a little bit of oil on there. A little bit of oil on that spring. Oil on there. We can oil a lot of that stuff after we get it together, I think. Maybe. We'll see. And then let's put this. I think it's really cool when knife companies make knives that you can put aftermarket scales on. Coming from a guy who used to pimp knives, <laughs> I gotta tell you, um, I could never make a set of titanium scales like this for, for what they charge for these. Uh, the finish is, eh, it's okay. I get that it's not everybody's thing. Um, I'm not even positive if I like it, but the nice thing is I can 
change them if I want. I do have that ability and that skill. So I'm not too worried about it. screw in there and it's not really going in there let's see oh it's gonna do that to me I'm gonna have to hit it from both sides Okay, I hope it doesn't eat anything across the room on me. Okay, and it is not all the way to, there it goes. Let's put a pivot in it. Those aren't going to fall out. Let's put this screw in here. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to have to do this from both sides, so I need to get another T6. It's kind of nice that they put the Loctite on there, but it's also kind of a pain. It doesn't make things any a super whole lot easier. shut for a second. I'm going to drop that shut for a second so it takes some attention off of the bar. And I'm going to take my pocket clip. Um, one thing that Demco does, which I don't really get, because you didn't have to do that on this knife, is he always makes one-sided clips. And I don't know what his feelings are behind that and why he does it, but he does it on a lot of his Cold steel knives, just a lot of knives in general. And then sends two clips. Which, and those screws are pretty soft. One of these days I'll go over to so you guys my tools that I use. These are Weha number six Torx. Pretty centered. Whoa.
All right, there it is. You can kind of see the pattern on there. Uh, kind of the reason I chose this one is it's going to get all beat up and scratched up kind of looking anyway. So, yeah, whatever. Lots of different colors in there. You can kind of see it's pretty neat. And it's probably one of those ones that's just going to look better with more wear and tear. I was actually thinking about getting the matching screws, but now I don't know. Um, I do want to loosen this pivot because it doesn't look like it's seated all the way to me. And torque it down one more time. It's a little bit too tight. Back it off just a little bit. Now I'm centered good. And the action is, oh boy, it's super, super smooth now. It's smoother than it was. This knife does not have a huge amount of detent. The detent's all in the spring right here and how it rolls around the back of that blade. But uh, it's pretty dang smooth and It's, um, I mean, it feels better, but now it feels like it's pinching me, which I don't know why it would do that when it's the same basic scale shape and it didn't fairly pinch me before, but now that's kind of bugging me. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, already a way too long a video anyway. So there it is. Let's weigh it up real quick. We don't want to leave before we see that. So let's see what the weight gets goes up to. It feels a lot more balanced. This knife with those plastic scales is really weight forward. And now it feels... Um, better. It's kind of... Yeah, it's about right where that finger choil is, which is about what it should be. Before it was way forward, the weight was way forward. So it feels more, it feels better. So it is, yeah, we gained about an ounce, 4.8 ounces. It doesn't feel like it's that heavy. Let's take it off again. But evidently it is, so. Um, it feels really good, actually. And you can get thumb studs for these. You can get, you can't get these, uh, shark lock parts, but you can get backspacers. You can get thumb studs, um, all kinds of stuff, which is pretty neat. I like that a lot. So there we are. Um, review is still to come. That's not the whole review. I want to see how it is with these scales on there now. Uh, I like how it looks already better, and I like how it feels already better, so that's all good. So turn off the TV, get outside, enjoy the outdoors. Toad sticker out.